Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss a problem. The problem is on your screen. You can see this is a both end fixed beam and uniformly distributed load are applied on it and two point load are applied at different cross section of the beam. Now we are going to analyze this problem on ANSI's workbench software. First of all, you have to open workbench software. Okay, I have already opened it on my PC. So, just let me correct it. Okay, now you can see that there are several options here. Okay, so now this is a beam problem. So, just drag static structural to the main window. Just click on it and drag it to here, right? And it will be appeared. Okay, here we go. You can see the engineering data is already selected. By default, the software is selected static structural for static structural problem structural steel is all automatically selected by the software right now go to the geometry first double click on geometry it will be opened just wait let me cut this window okay now see the problem this is a both end fixed problem and the length of the beam is six meter right but we'll draw this beam in three segment we will draw this beam in three segment right first segment of two meters second segment of two meter and third segment of two meter why because so that we can easily apply that 20 kilonewton road at the section of this beam at the part of the beam right so let me open when we solve any problem of a beam on your paper you just draw a line so in the similar way just select any plane here and just go to the unit and select meter okay it is already selected now click on any plane i am clicking xy plane and just look at the plane right so this is your paper okay now go to the sketching select line okay so this is your main point so just select draw one line h mean horizontal right and from the end of this line draw another line okay now end of the, this line and draw we have drawn three lines. Now go to the dimension and click on this line, click on this line and click on this line. So three line appeared H1, H2 and H3. You can see that the dimension of this line is here. But in our case, the dimensions would be 2 meter, 2 meter and 2 meter, right? So just type 2 and see, type 2 and press enter. Okay. So we have created three line of 2 meter, 2 meter and 2 meter. Okay. Now click on generate, right? okay so the sketch is generated go to the modeling you can see that under xy plane a sketch one is generated but it is a 1d structure this is a line right so to make it 3d just go to the concept option and click on line from sketches a body will be created by this option so just click on this option okay it is asking for the base object just click on sketch and apply sketch one is applied and just click on generate you can see here a line body is generated okay which is a beam but we have not assigned any cross section for it a line body is generated but you can see that it is asking for cross section we have not created any cross section for this line body so for that doing that go to the concept and just click on cross section and just tap on suppose our beam is of rectangular beam right so just tap on rectangular option okay and suppose the cross section of the beam is breadth is 0 0.06 meter and height is 0 0.06 meter and just press enter okay now click on generate right so you can see a line body is generated but just a cross we have generated a cross section rectangular one just assign that cross section here in the line body and just tap on generate okay so a line body is generated to view that just go to the view and tap on cross section solid you can see that a beam is generated having a rectangular cross section right now from the geometric part it is completed just close it okay now you can see the problem here so just double click on model in model section we will apply the load and different condition of the beam and also the result will be appeared here okay and it will take some time just wait for that 
and see the problem so here the udl uniformly distributed load is applied and the value of it is 10 kN per meter and the point load value is 20 kN okay it is opening just wait few minutes see the problem or both end of the beam is fixed right okay here it is here it is you can see right okay now go to the click on mesh and just tap on generate okay you can see that the missing is done okay now go to the static structural option right right click insert and tap on fixed support okay so our both end is fixed so just click on this vertex and press control and also click on this vertex just apply here so this two vertex is beam is fixed so it is assigned okay done now again go to the static structural right click insert and go to the option of line pressure line pressure right so just three segment click it press control also click it press control and also click on it so whole beam is selected just apply three edges okay because we have already divided the beam into the three segment okay now here change vector to components right and the load is applied on you can see that negative y directions so and the amount of the load is you can see the our problem 10 kN per meter right so for doing that just three one this is a 10 newton and kN mean three is zero okay okay and it is it should be a negative y direction so put a minus before it you can see that the direction of the load here okay now again click on static structural right click insert and force okay two point load we have to apply it just select this vertex this point click on it press control and again click on it and just apply and change it to the component and it is negative y direction and the value is 20 kilo newton so 20,000 newton okay you can see that load is applied so we have defined three condition both in fixed conditions it is udl mean line pressure and the force at the two, two different segment of the beam now we want result click on solution right click insert go to the deformation click on total in a similar way insert deformation go to the directional deformations and here go to the beam result shear force right go to the beam result see tap axial force here go to the beam results tap bending moment go to the beam result and tap CR moment diagram okay now we can see that at CR moment diagram it is asking for the path at which path the diagram should be drawn okay for assign the path go to the model just click on model right click on insert right click and then go to the insert and go to the construction geometry and click on path and just change it to point to the edges now select these things these things these things three things by clicking control by pressing control you can select the entire things in one go and just click on applied you can see a path is generated from one to two okay now go here and click on path okay the path is assigned so now click on solve it will be soft it will be solved in few minutes just wait for that here you can see the progress of solutions okay and you can watch my previous video if you are beginners you will better understand that
okay here is the cr moment diagram you can see cr force and bending moment diagram and this is the total deformations you can see here this is the total deformations this is the directional deformation this is the total cr force this is axial force this is total bending moment okay now if you want to find that where the bending moment is maximum just click on maximum and minimum you can see that here the bending moment is minimum and here the bending moment is maximum and the value of maximum is it and value of minimum is it it is also here okay in the similar way you can select click the probe option and just move your cursor to see the result at different point of the beam okay and this is the shear force and bending moment diagram you can see here this is the deflection diagram or displacement diagram deflection is maximum at the middle of the beam but in our case we can see that the total deformation over here you can see how the beam is deformed to see the animation just tap on this option you can see the animations right you can see it go to the contours go to the smooth color okay you can see the how a beam is bended okay this is the total deformation option let me go to the shear force option okay you can see the total shear force okay the result is generated in front of you if you are beginner you can see the whole playlist you can watch it and if you have any query just comment below Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.